you guys are not going to want to click away this video because today we have a 4v4 on Austria 3A and each of the 8 players on this match have over a thousand kills each. That is right, over a thousand kills. Now when you consider that each army, for the most part, minus this Egypt France army, has 2,000 men almost each, that's over half casualties. 50% casualties, guys. And of course, some of these people have almost 2,000 kills each on both sides. Uh, what is up though, Kingsman? I hope you guys enjoy this video because it is going to be a wild, wild ride. Already starting off with some pretty spicy action here. Look at the Austrians and Russians kind of trying to enclose Egypt. Egypt throwing down as many sticks as possible. But while this skirmish, little skirmish is starting up, let's go for the factions. Let's see which e what each of these players brought. So obviously we have an 8-point France, Egypt. But also, we have a 8-point France, Espana. Coming up to reinforce Egypt is a 9-point France, Flanders. And then over here is an 11-point France, Russia Center. 11-pointer can be very, very dangerous. Now, on the other side, you have a 10-point Russia. You can see some of the artillery um, already for them. You have a 9-point Austria, Italy. I believe that's right here. You have a 8-point Austria. And then a 9-point Russia. So Austria and Russia definitely being super prevalent on the field today. But let's see what the uh, what the action is going to be focused around. Obviously, usually this three-pointer, a huge, huge contest. Um, there's another three-pointer way over here. Of course, the coalition gets that one. And then a two-pointer right here by this 11-pointer. And then, of course, a one-pointer down this road. Usually, almost without a doubt, there's going to be action along this whole side between these two. This force usually hotly contested. And at this left side, this open field where Russia is already showing their, their forces, usually a hot contest as well. You can see the artillery. Oh, wow. You can see that artillery, cavalry. You can see Russian infantry pushing into the tree line. A lot of ooh, guard. They have some guard units for Russia. Of course, like I said, there's going to be a lot of forest fighting. Very rough, in my opinion. I hate fighting in forests. It's so hard to see what is happening. Um, of course, you have the horse artillery set up. There's so many stakes because Egypt brings so many sappers, and that's all stakes, defensive positions. This is a very nice position for the French. You see all the sappers now. They've done their due diligence. There's, what, five of them all setting up their stakes. That's going to be rough. And now all this artillery is going to be able to set up and have a free reign of the enemy. Now, the nice thing, Egypt has all of their peasantry set up to soak up all the damage these guys almost 300 men each it's not going to be a contest they're going to stand forever unless they get shock morale egypt does have the liberty of having a bunch of chunky units even their french units guys look at how massive these units are actually egypt can be a lot of fun to play as oh these look like swiss you would always catch my attention if you have something that looks like Swiss. Now that is the Grenadiers uh, with the red uniforms. You see skirmishers already doing what they can. Is he even worth it? You gotta ask. I like how these guys don't even care if they shoot through their peasantry. They're like, eh, they're, they're meat fodder. They're like cannon fodder anyway. Might as well. I mean, of course, they're gonna move them. But, you know, they didn't even care probably too much. It's like, oh, no, we shot our own guys. Whatever are we gonna do? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no. Like I said, you have at least two armies so far focusing down this side. With the 11 points you're pushing across here, kind of curious what he brought. All right, Latrilliers, more lines. Oh man, chunky units. I love the 11 pointers for that. They have such massive, large units. Vistula Legion. Oh my goodness, they have brought some nice Polish line infantry. Let's see what else they brought. Oh, it's really okay. I, funny enough, I played this this army in a stream, and I definitely brought a lot of the same stuff they brought. Now, I brought a lot more of the guard units, a lot more than they have brought. But still, they have brought a large amount to them, and you see Russia actually ranging up to fight against them. Has a lot of dragoons, holy smokes, horse artillery, and even more dragoons. I love the gray and white horses. Gosh, it looks amazing. And then, of course even more and more cav. Russia definitely brought good quality of cav. Um, they brought a good build, I'm sure, to rival the French. France only has one Dragoon, which is being focused down by horse artillery already. 
they obviously want to reinforce or at least take this LOC. Now the question is, does Russia have troops nearby to take this LOC, or is France going to make it to this one-pointer? Now I am hearing some regular line volleys. Yep, and we have, oh, some skirmishes got a volley in the face of rope, but here's Austria in the trees, and they are going to be exchanging fire with the Egypt. Now I do see some elite cavalry hiding in the forest, yes we do. And then more and more infantry shuffling around. Boy, this, like I said, guys, it'll be a nightmare. It's usually a nightmare whenever trees are involved. But you can see, I think this is, yep, more Austria. And they pushed up using trees for cover. And now they are fighting in the shade. Just kind of give vibes of like a fall setting post. So maybe it's kind of cold. They're not in the sun. But man, they have some nice, nice targeting practice. As France is standing out here. And they are dropping fast dropping extremely fast and not even firing yet oh my goodness this attack really is kicking off with more and more russians now entering the fray look at that There's so much smoke holy smokes there's a russian advance on this side and that is a huge russian advance pushing across the open field russia Ooh, i always love this map for this big old tree right here it looks so amazing it's like an old oak. Hopefully it does not get killed, knocked over by cannonballs. It's probably going to get lead poisoning from all the bullets that are going to smack into it from these volleys back and forth. Now we do see Russia pushing up their infantry. They did make it there in time. And they got plenty of infantry to stave off the French 11-pointer. However, both sides do not have LOC. However, I think Russia does have the LOC. France is going to have to set up, and they are going to have to fight Russia for this. You can see France, the 9-pointer Flanders, is pushing across here to make sure to oh. link up with the 11-pointer oh. oh, so that they have a solid line and one person's not surrounded over the other. Oh, look at the advance of the French over here as well. Oh, man, I love this game. It looks so awesome. Now the French pushing up, Russia moving to advance and engage. Oh, we have a cab charge here. Some Dragoons getting caught out by the Russians. And we'll see which Dragoon does better. It could be a very even contest. Even with a surprise attack, this may actually still be a Russian defeat. We will see. They have a general maybe nearby. France has gotten their infantry up. In position, you have some Polish troops. Oh yeah, they're they're ready to they're ready to fight for this LOC. And I think Russia actually is not liking this. They already had a bunch of dead dropped from that first punishing volley from these light infantry. And uh, the lines definitely have been drawn at this point. Definitely have been drawn. Now I do not know who wins this fight, guys. I have no idea who wins, and usually if you look at the results of the battle, you can tell who wins this fight. Um, I don't know. I really don't know who's going to win this. Um, France has the advantage, I think, at this point. Oh, look at this. We have some guard units. Oh, my goodness. They brought the Russian guard. They're going to throw up the front lines here. This already seemed to be a vicious, vicious fight here. Oh, cavalry charged in, but Russia... Had some Grenadiers that were able to form square. But France is inching up very close with more Vishla Lee. Oh my goodness, I love this infantry. Ooh, they're getting volleyed though. The musket bug definitely seems to be affecting the French a little bit. They aren't firing as fast. Just, But they are going to start getting some nice volleys off. Ooh, they hit that Grenadier unit from Russia. Pretty, pretty, that's a pretty bad volley. But with Austria reinforcing here, this eight-pointer pushed up artillery. He's pushed up all his infantry. Get ready, he's gonna start pouring in some volleys now. He's gotta be careful because not a lot of squares in this Austrian army. And France, as long as they stay in place and don't move too much, they are still gonna keep firing. Um, now we do have a attack for the LOC. Both sides have thrown in infantry. In fact, Russia going for another bayonet charge here. Grenadiers from France needing them by this LOC. They do not, France cannot afford to lose this or else they're gonna have to fall back from this three-pointer. Look at all the sappers in this LOC. Punishing volumes, they've actually fallen back quite a bit more. Our artillery set up, though. Over here, France not really engaging too much against Russia. This side definitely going to be a hot contest. And 
obviously this is usually the side where things kind of kick off in the beginning anyway. But um, France, yeah, they are stopping the Russians dead in their tracks using the Grenadiers. Doing what they can, you can see there were some Grenadiers here. Looks like Suvorov almost, some Suvor... Ooh, another charge using some Militia to make sure the Russians can't get a nice volley on the corner of that Grenadier unit. However, France is in a bit of trouble here. This Guard unit, they are destroying the French flank here. They need to get something to charge this. Stop these guys from firing because they are going to just obliterate this side. Both sides, though, obviously in a hot contest. Russia wants to get into more melee probably than volley fiber right now they seem to be doing pretty good especially that guard unit in so many troops locked into a melee they may need to send us some reinforcements because you can see oh the uh, we may have a general that popped a rally who knows france gonna fall back into the tree line they don't want to they can't afford to lose this flank as well so they really need to put a little bit more of their elite troops maybe into this fight over here and you can see they actually are sending even more sap reserve a general shifting over as well Austria is in a line fight. They are going to be able to start pouring in some nice volleys, some juicy volleys. Grenadiers. Oh, they have their Grenadiers shooting here. Uh, do we have some cavalry? Maybe going for a... Uh, maybe going to go for a charge here. Both sides still wavering here. France sending in fresh sappers. Another counter charge by more Grenadiers. This fight is turning into kind of the... The let's see this. Oh, that did not go well. More dra dragoons charge again. Did they have the form square? I bet or not. Nice, they were able to get a nice charge off there. This side still in question, but I'm seeing a lot of a ra ra routing. Can't talk. A lot of routing from the French now as Russia just keeps throwing in more and more troops into this meat grinder. Both sides have some round. Oh, they can get General Inspired this line. This line needs to get some Inspires up. This is turning into a mess. Now with the guard troops in the fray, sending in more L2s. These guys are not gonna hold very well, but maybe with how exhausted, ooh, please tell me they form a square. They don't form a square. However, Austria did send in their cavalry, managed to break those Dragoons. Oh man, France not getting the charge they would like, and they are already falling back. They do not like how this looks, and actually, France is in big trouble here. Now, thankfully, there are some stakes here. I think Russia saw it, and their troops are going to start dying. Ooh, they did not see that. That was a lucky break. Nicely placed on the stakes. This LLC still looks to be a bit of a mess. Look at how many troops are stuck in melee. These guys are shooting directly point blank into this melee. Please tell me you get a nice charge off on the cab. Oh, they go for the Russian general. Oh, this could be huge. This could be huge if they kill the Russian general. This morale here would tank for the Russians. Austria trying to save that general. Oh, the they general. killed the now general. Okay, that just could stop this whole Russian offensive. Just when they start losing this flank, that was a clutch play. That could have been the real MVP. These Dragoons will maybe die. But the real MVP, look at this. Russia is, is breaking. Now, I'm so missing the rest of this Russian fight. I apologize. Russia is actually getting very, very aggressive against this. Man, they actually are shooting compared to the French. Oh, they form another square. Russia is getting all the squares from this guard. They have their work cut out for them, but they seem to be doing well using all their cav. France just being a little defensive. Russia going to probably try to get that melee in. France still hanging on, guys, to this LOC. They do not want to give this up, and with the, their routing of the Russian general, Russia is going to not be as effective of a fighting force anymore. And we have actually a red... Oh, no. Don't send in the Ladoo. I mean, they're going to get a nice charge off. Oh, my gosh. But they are getting shot up as they charge in. Not the greatest of charges, I would say. But maybe with no general to inspire the morale, they are looking to go for the throat. 
So actually, in hindsight, actually this may have been a very, very wise charge to go for. However, if Yule is going to die, I would, I would say he's probably going to die here. France still hanging on to this LOC. Over here, Russia looks like they went in for melee using infantry and cavalry to start breaking up some of these squares. But the guards still holding firm as best they can, having their squares. Russia, unfortunately, went like they had they were paired up against probably the worst French army for them as as guard in squares everywhere. But they are still breaking the French. They're breaking one of the hardest 11 pointers. And that's pretty good, 11 point versus a 10 pointer. Now Ledoux did get themselves out of there, having broken one of the French army, or one of the Russian armies, a little bit more than it was before. They are still pouring in more and more troops. You have, uh oh. France better throw in more troops. Because now Austria, or the coalition in general, just has a nice charge. They, they have nothing contesting this. Look at the slaughter here though. Either way, a huge bloodbath. Okay, so we do have the Vistula Legion here on the flank. They can charge in, start getting those counter charges off. We stepped over a lot of dead and dying troops here. Now over on this side, Russia still making some huge plays, unfortunately. Like I said, they are going up against guard, guys. This guard, these guard units are gonna make it super tough for them. I mean, their cab just, their cab can't do anything if France can swear. Like, what are you going to do? They have Dragoons, uh, ooh, Muscadines. Man, that's a really good unit. And very healthy still. They can't do anything against this army. France has even pushed up into this tree line. Look how close we are against Austria. And hopefully the sound isn't too loud. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. It's not blowing your ears. But Austria now, Austria is still very healthy. They can still push as Espana definitely has taken some heavy losses here. Russia can act as a reserve with their general dead. And maybe they can just push up behind Austria. The French have managed to hold on to this three-pointer. And if the reason they are, guys, is because if they lose this three-pointer, they lose the game. They can't march around very easily and take this other three-pointer way over here. They have to hold this three-pointer in order to win. Ooh, we have a nice charge. Oh my All goodness, yes. That is what I'm talking about. See, Russia going for some choicer, choicer targets here. And no way. <laughs> are they mass routing this? Oh, are they going for, what are they going for? What do they, what do they have over here? Oh, there's some cab here that's gonna charge them. Oh, they broke. They still mass route a lot of French troops here. This Flanders is in a bit of a mess. And Russia is definitely trying to help out on this side. Yeah, this is definitely some Suvorov in this army, this Austrian army. I'm surprised France is trying to take this fight. You know, I, I would think they would want to be defensive and just hold this line right here. But it looks like Russia is going to try to go for something else. What are they trying to go for? What's over here? Oh, there's artillery. And a jet. Oh, they have Napoleon? Wait, where's Napoleon? They have Napoleon on the field. And now the Muscadines are going to go over to this left side to defend as... Cavalry starting to become rampant. In fact, they may even back charge this Flanders. Are they gonna form a square? Please tell me you're forming a square. Yes, they did. Okay, they formed a square. So this Cav, unfortunately, is not gonna get a good charge. That's a chunky unit, a bunch of units to try to charge. I know they probably wanna get something off of that. Now, Egypt and Espana still in a ton of trouble, I would say. Um, they are just getting outflanked. Austria has troops for days. They have lines and lines of reserves. They have plenty of troops to keep up this fight for a very long time. They can whittle down the French who don't have that reserve line. They can't afford to take a massively long drawn out line fight. It's not going to work well for them. They need their ally over here to make some progress. And the French seem to be making some progress, but I don't think they're actually hurting the coalition as much as they should be. So I would say even though 
both sides have taken some heavy losses. I think the coalition still are set well. They obviously just got it. At this oh, point, I would not time. go for this LOC. I would try to break the coalition or, or the Imperials around this side by just shooting them to pieces and then the mass route may trigger and then go for the house and you can take that three pointer and then start pushing on this flake because obviously this fight not going too well at this point. However, it's not going badly either. So the coalition are definitely set for success. I would say they're set for success. Cavalry in the back lines. Austria charging in here. Breaking troops bit by bit. Breaking grenadiers stuck alone in the forest, surrounded by Austrians. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. It's just so, so beautiful. The coalition's success is going to be in their slow and steady advances. That, I think, is what's going to save them, or at least help them. Um, Russia is actually pushing out here once again. Uh, France's Lone Pointer definitely is pretty well spent. They have a lot of troops, and they hopefully are going to start shifting more over to this side. They need to reinforce this side, because, I mean, look at this. Austria is in the forest. Ooh, these Grenadiers are still alive and actually stopping the Austrian advance, but they are definitely... Oh, yeah, he's going to run away. They're going to get falling in the face. Rip these Grenadiers. They are dead. Shoot! Oh yeah, Officer got a shot off to... Oh, these Grenadiers may actually get the ray, get themselves out of there. What the Imperials are going to have to do is play Ring Around the Rosies around this LOC. They're going to have to try to shelter the troops as much as possible. They do not want to take a fight. Like I said, man, this 8-point Austria is so deadly still. They haven't lost a lot of the troops. They still have cavalry, which is going to go in here. Some Chevaliers or Dragoons, one or the other. And they are going to charge units that cannot form square. Very nice charge. And here they go. They're starting to pressure even more. Pressure, pressure, pressure. That's what they need. Okay, this does not look good. France is getting into a box. I would not recommend doing something like this. Um, as a general rule, I get that they are getting outflanked here. They need to have some troops smack on the flank. Look, Egypt could roll up here and bayonet charge them. Or bayonet charge them yourself. I mean, I do know... Okay, actually, I didn't see this. <laughs> Austria is bayonet charging... Oh my gosh, Austria is going to the offensive. This is turning into an ambush of sorts, where Austria is just surrounding and defeating the French. Oh, a nice charge on the flank by the Grenadier Cheval Ledoux. Hopefully that can help keep this Flanders in the fight. Flanders did send over reinforcements on this side to try to stop Austria. France, though, getting pushed back. They need to fall back to the other side and try to use this LLC a little bit more to force back the enemy. Russia is taking it slow and steady at this point. Put up their light infantry. Let the light infantry do some work. You know, they have some pretty good stats for shooting. They can maybe, I don't know, Vistula Legion going to win. But they, they don't have to win, guys. They just have to delay this side till their enemy, which, I mean, the enemy, the French are losing. They are unfortunately losing. Now they are, are making running. some nice counterattacks with that Ledoux. They did break a lot of Austrians here. So actually this may be their chance to counterattack and beat back the Austrians. But over here, Austria, they got so many reinforcements still. Just waiting to get into this fight. Just waiting. With a oh, nine point Russia who is still alive. They're taking it easy. They don't have a general. Their morale's probably crap. You can see Egypt is in Espana just dying here. They don't have enough troops. Um, so they are just hoping that Flanders can make some moves. If they can break Austria in the center, they could shift over and maybe start breaking. Even shifting out here, which Egypt actually is already doing, they shipped out and smacked against the Austrian line. Because Austria is in here just absolutely shredding up 
have to reinforce this Flanders set. These guys are not going to win, guys. The uh, Flanders is not going to win this fight. They just can only try to delay. Oh, artillery should be firing. Yeah, look at this. They are just getting chipped away. Austria is just... Austria is a fun faction to play, guys. We do have artillery, though. Let's see if they can do something here. But Russia or Austria is pushing into the town already. This artillery may be in danger. It may be time to set up some reinforcements. Good old Napoleon. He's over here trying to inspire his men to feats of bravery. But uh, this three-pointer may finally be uh, undenied. But I think Russia or Austria is losing in this town. Subrov, though, may be breaking the French. I don't know. It's looking a little... Man, the amount of brawls that have happened here. But, oh, both sides are mutually breaking. The man of fatigue, sir. I must rest a while. But Russia is starting to... Oh, yeah, they're going to start... They have, they have tons of troops. He can start enveloping, pushing a flank through this mud field and start just surrounding these four units... They have the cavalry still helping out in this fight. Flanders is breaking, however, so is Austria, Suvorov. So, I mean, this fight may, they may auto-balance each other off, you know? Let's see what's happening over here. Alright, Austria did send in troops, and the first line did break. But, I mean, France spent basically almost all the reserves. So now Austria's final line is pushing into the town, and Egypt is probably licking their wounds, wondering how they're going to manage to hold off one more line of Austrians. <laughs> Our men are running. I would not want to be in the Egypt's place. That would be rough. They can do it, though. Come on. I know they can do it. This artillery is still firing. How have they not gotten... Oh, there they go. They're getting bayonet charged now. And uh, Austria has taken this corner of the woods. Egypt literally is hanging on by a thread here. And uh, Flanders cannot help. The only strong army left is over here, this 11-pointer, who's trying to outshoot the Russians. I mean, okay, he has more reinforcements. Come on. They gotta read the room. They gotta send the troops over here. They obviously are needed over here. This is, this is, this is very important defense here this is super important in my opinion they should be sending the troops over you can delay the Russians long enough I mean there's a, there's 30 minutes remaining so I don't know if they actually can it is my opinion my backseat general opinion that the reinforcements from 11 pointer should be shifting over to fight Russia they were shifting over to this three pointer where, I mean, props to the Egypt and Espana. They really kicked a lot of uh, Austrians to the ground, killing a lot of them. But Austria is still very much in the fight. Our men are running for And they're starting to shift over to flank here. This fight was intense, that is for sure. Man, really enjoyed this one. It does look like France is trying to sneak around here, but we do have some cavalry that are going to go on the defense so that uh, these grenadiers cannot, you know, do anything about it. Still, France may try to shift over it. Now, France, with these reinforcements they have brought over, that could start shifting the balance back in favor of the French over here. And if Russia dies, there's still time for France to then attack over on this side. But Austria is sweeping around. They are now behind the French. Stubborn. The, the French are so stubborn that they have held on to this for so long. The Vistula Legion holds. But here we go. We got some cavalry coming in. And they're going to stop these units from forming square. The man of fatigue, sir. Must rest a while. 
Oh, can they hold? Can they hold? Austria is going in for the killing blow. How this volley fire from the LOC killing this cab. Oh, can the French take this back? Okay, the, there is about to be a huge play here, guys. That is going to either make it or break it for the French. Russia is now pushing in. Their men are probably fresh. They are going to push in here, and they got to coordinate this with Austria. I would send in the troops right through here and try to hit this corner. We do have the Vistula Legion going in on the Austrians. Let's see if they have enough to make it. Oh, and they break them. Here we go, Austria's gonna go in. Russia needs to put pressure on them at the same time. Ooh. The general needs to inspire. Where's where's Boney? He needs to be inspiring this army. Both these generals are here, guys. They can inspire this army. Come on, they can do it. Come on, France. Viva la France. Nice charge in the rear. And now, push forward on the attack. Oh my gosh, more Austrians? What? All men oh are running. man, Austria had even more troops than I thought. I thought this was it. How, what, that's extremely disheartening, especially when you see France is actually already breaking here. Oh man. All right, the coalition actually may have this. So close, yet so close. Man, what a bloodbath oh, this LOC. Jealousy. There's one thing that you, oh my gosh. Look at the carnage, guys. Look at the piles of Russian dead, French dead, everywhere. It's just unreal that's unreal this place will be pools of blood everywhere guaranteed i mean the average human has about five liters of blood in them you know think that you shot and it's a bleeder and this whole time it's been bleeding yeah even if it's just two liters of blood each man that's that adds up fast and that's when you get rivers of blood the from men of hundreds of men dead and now you can see, guys, why I was saying each player got at least a thousand kills. Man. And now the level pointer is going to engage what's left here. Pour into them, boys. The Russians will probably fall back and wait for Austria, who is shifting over already. Um, and they'll just like go together. They're gonna obviously go for, oh wow, Bonaparte's in the house with his Grenadiers and Sappers. That's still gonna be a tough attack. That is still not gonna be easy. Where's Bonaparte? Where is he? Oh, is this him over here? Wait, in all seriousness, where is Bonaparte? He has green, he has a green uniform. Oh, is he in the corner? No, what the heck, man? Where is Bonaparte? I'm flummoxed. Alright, let's not waste time on that when we have another engagement. We gotta keep track of... Austria forming up here. France is gonna just march to meet them. Oh! The Muscadines charged in! Holy smokes! Beautiful, beautiful charge here. Breaking two Austrians. Ah. Uh, I don't know. That, I mean, okay, they did break one, but that's a, that's not a good charge. You run sideways on them, infantry, your cavalry's gonna run in front of infantry and get shot. 
just because they are going to keep going, even though you're charging this unit, they'll keep running, and they get shot in the face, and uh, it would be better to go straight on. But we do have the French pushing up using Grenadiers, Vicious Legion, oh my goodness, they are charging, using the Vistula Legion to charge the French, the Russians. However, Russia does have this LLC, it's going to make it very difficult. These, these, these guys need to push up and start helping out. France still stubbornly holding on. Uh oh, Bonaparte is uh... Oh no. Bonaparte is dead. I don't even know where he was. But he has been killed. And with him dies France. Sad day. Ooh, nice charge, but... France was ever vigilant, and I do believe they were able to form some squares. Russia, though, on the flank. The guard can make their last stand here. But a very, very nice battle, in my opinion. That was very, very awesome. Um, both sides got some nice kills off of the other. I think this is going to be a last stand by the guard. You can't say these guys don't have a drip about them. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. You got the red. I love the helmets, too. Look at the nice tassels and those helmets. Wouldn't you want one of those? Got the Imperial Eagle. Got that ribbon. Got the nice little feather in the top. Oh, man, they're dying so fast. These guys kind of have it. But not as cool. And these guys just have the regular old hats. Nothing flashy about them. But, you know, I... I I always have liked the guard in France. They always look so nice. I do like the yellow. I do like the yellow mixed with the blue. And then they have like this little fan thing on their helmet. And then of course the Russians have a nice little cap. It looks like they're going out for like a picnic. <laughs> sort of. I will say, the French are, wow, they are doing quite well, chipping away, but, I mean, it's only a matter of time. Rip the 84th. And here is the other Napoleon. How long will he survive? That is the question. I like how he has, like, a Hussar body, like, guard. They're all Hussars. No other general staff besides the SARS. Polish and Russians fighting. You know, that's not something you've ever seen before. <laughs> Ooh. And then they are closing in. It's like Lord of the Rings, you know, when like we cannot get out. We cannot get out. They are coming. Sure, you can bet your bottom dollar they're coming. Oh, cavalry charging in the back. Holy smokes. Predator Cheval making a play here, charging it against the Russian or the Austrians. They just gotta kill Boney. They just gotta kill Napoleon. Bonaparte. He rides on the success of this battle. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. There's no way the French actually win this, is there? 
just being at charge of. I mean, they have Bonaparte, so that's why the French are just, their morale is just doing so well for so long. With Bonaparte on the field, like, what, you know, what can you do? These troops aren't going to last forever. They're defending their emperor. Now, Russia still has some troops left on the field. They have artillery. They could uh, do what, you know, happened in Waterloo, which, oh, wow, this other troop over here. They took it back, too. So this may actually end up being a French victory. <laughs> no way. French victory? That's right. That's right. I'm saying it. French victory. Somehow, a Pyrrhic victory because Austria just mass routed. Now, I did see, I don't think it was intentional, there was one unit that was just fimming an Austrian line infantry, but I don't think that would have changed much. The Ledoux charged in on the back of the Austrians, they couldn't form square, it was a bit of a mess. Now, a Russian artillery can still do something about this. They have to kill Bonaparte, guys, they have to. Everything rides on them sniping the general. I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit here. Uh, and plus, they have to take this three-pointer back. I don't know if Austria is going to be able to do that. Um, yeah, there's so many French left. And France just needs another one pointer. I mean, if you look at this LOC thing, it's it's still very much a uh French French victory by LOC if they could delay for 13 minutes. You can see the Russians obviously trying their best to uh, skirt around here. They're trying to get the artillery in position. Now, they, these horse artillery are going to probably... Get, oh, 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 they're going... Oh, no, they're not going to turn it. They're turning the wrong way. They're turning the wrong way. And, um... Oh, man. France is going to win this. France is going to win, guys. That's that's what I'm saying. Right now, France is going to win. What a last vicious defense. What a last stand to be remembered. And I think it's all thanks to Napoleon holding that men. That, that mass route should have been triggered. Um, and somehow wasn't. There is one unit left. One infantry and then there's one artillery piece. Which is about to get bayonet charged and break. And uh, let's see what's left here. One, oh, Russia. Russia can go for the three pointer. They're up against one. Ah, that's not going to work. Well, you know, both sides deserve a uh, applause because both sides played very, very well in the coalition. Man, they put up quite a fight. Let's see the results. I think um, this was Flanders, I believe. Yeah, and Ledoux obviously getting the most kills, 375. The rest didn't get a ton of kills. Um, he was kind of delaying. He he lost basically his entire army. Um, but let me pull up the results here so you guys can see. So on the French side, the 8-point Espana, or sorry, 8-point France, Egypt with 1,054 kills. 11-point um, France, Russia Center, 1217. 8-point France, Espana, 1135. And then 9-point France, Flanders with 11.02 on the other side. You have 8-point Austria with 17.09. So many kills. 10-point Russia with 10.80. 9-point Russia with 12.48. And then 9-point Austria with 10.24. So you can see I wasn't lying, guys. Each one got over 1,000 kills. And almost every army minus the 8-point France, Espana, brought almost 2,000 men each. So, man, what a crazy battle. Um, I, I, I don't have anything else really to say. I'm just, I'm super, super happy to see some good battles. And that was one of them. That'll definitely be up there. So, but anyway, guys, that'll be it for me today. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like. If you want to support the channel, if you could subscribe, you know, trying to, trying to keep hiking up the subscribers. 
and every every little click of that button for subscribing does really help the channel uh, get out there on YouTube a little bit more, puts it out there for other people to find, um, and uh, means a lot. So, anyway guys, you guys have a great rest of your day, stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.